Elvis Presley American singer and actor Elvis Aaron Presley, known mononymously as Elvis, was an American singer and actor. Known as the King of Rock and Roll, he is regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century. Born, January 8, 1935, Tupelo, Mississippi, United States. Died, August 16, 1977, age 42 years, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee, United States. Spouse, Priscilla Presley, M. 1967, to 1973. Grandchildren, Riley Keough, Benjamin Keough, Harper Vivian and Lockwood, Finley Aaron Love Lockwood. Elvis Aaron Presley was born on January 8, 1935 in East Tupelo, Mississippi, to Gladys Presley, née Gladys Love Smith, and Vernon Presley, Vernon Elvis Presley. He had a twin brother who was stillborn. In 1948, Elvis and his parents moved to Memphis, Tennessee, where he attended Humes High School. In 1953, he attended the senior prom with the current girl he was courting, Regis Wilson. After graduating from high school in Memphis, Elvis took odd jobs working as a movie theater usher and a truck driver for Crown Electric Company. He began singing locally as The Hillbilly Cat, then signed with a local recording company, and then with RCA in 1955. Elvis did much to establish early rock and roll music. He began his career as a performer of rockabilly, an up-tempo fusion of country music and rhythm and blues, with a strong backbeat. His novel versions of existing songs, mixing black and white sounds, made him popular and controversial as did his uninhibited stage and television performances. He recorded songs in the rock and roll genre, with tracks like Jailhouse Rock and Hound Dog later embodying the style. Presley had a versatile voice and had unusually wide success encompassing other genres, including gospel, blues, ballads, and pop music. Teenage girls became hysterical over his blatantly sexual gyrations, particularly the one that got him nicknamed Elvis the Pelvis. Television cameras were not permitted to film below his waist. In 1956, following his six television appearances on the Dorsey Brothers stage show, Elvis was cast in his first acting role, in a supporting part in Love Me Tender, 1956, the first of 33 movies he starred in. In 1958, Elvis was drafted into the military and relocated to Bad Nauheim, Germany. There he met 14-year-old army damsel Priscilla and Wagner, Priscilla Presley, whom he would eventually marry after an eight-year courtship, and by whom he had his only child, Lisa Marie Presley. Elvis's military service and the British invasion of the 1960s reduced his concerts, though not his movie-slash-recording income. Through the 1960s, Elvis settled in Hollywood, where he starred in the majority of his 33 movies, mainly musicals, acting alongside some of the most well-known actors in Hollywood. Critics panned most of his films, but they did very well at the box office, earning upwards of $150 million total. His last fiction film, Change of Habit, 1969, deals with several social issues, romance within the clergy, an autistic child, almost unheard of in 1969, rape, and mob violence. It has recently received critical acclaim. Elvis made a comeback in the 1970s with live concert appearances starting in early 1970 in Las Vegas with over 57 sold-out shows. He toured throughout the United States, appearing on stage in over 500 live appearances, many of them sold-out shows. His marriage ended in divorce, and the stress of constantly traveling as well as his increasing weight gain. And dependence upon stimulants and depressants took their toll. Elvis Presley died at age 42 on August 16, 1977, at his mansion in Graceland, near Memphis, shocking his fans worldwide. At the time of his death, he had sold more than 600 million singles and albums. Since his death, Graceland has become a shrine for millions of followers worldwide. Elvis impersonators and purported sightings have become stock subjects for humorists. To date, Elvis Presley is the only performer to have been inducted into three separate music halls of fame. Throughout his career, he set records for concert attendance, television ratings, and recording sales, and remains one of the best-selling and most influential artists in the history of popular music. Family Spouse 
Priscilla Presley, May 1, 1967 to October 9, 1973, divorced, one child. Children. Lisa Marie Presley. Parents. Gladys Presley. Vernon Presley. Relatives. Harper Lockwood, grandchild. Finley Lockwood, grandchild. Minnie Mae Presley, grandparent. Vester Presley, aunt or uncle. Patsy Presley Jaranen, cousin. Billy Smith, cousin. Riley Keough, grandchild. Benjamin Keough, grandchild. Nylon Keys, cousin. Trademarks. The famous left-sided grin. His movements, with his pelvis, that gave him the nickname, Elvis, the pelvis, which he strongly disliked. Longer and slightly deeper sideburns. White sequin jumpsuits with rhinestones. Onstage karate moves. Peanut butter and banana sandwiches, sometimes with bacon. Two trademark phrases were, thank ya, and thank you very much. Deep husky voice with southern accent. Known to friends and fans for his extremely kind-hearted and generous personality. Black pompadour often greased back. Trivia. When the Beatles came to America in 1965, there was only one person they wanted to meet, Elvis. On August 27, 65 they got their wish and, according to John Lennon, spent an enjoyable evening at the Presley home in Bel Air, CA, talking, singing and laughing with each other. From the time they met until his death, he always sent a roomful of flowers to Anne Margaret whenever she opened a show in Las Vegas. His personal entourage were known as the Memphis Mafia, and were given matching rings, by Elvis. The diamond and gold ring sported a thunderbolt and the letters TCB, reportedly standing for, take care of business. Elvis was buried wearing one of the rings. Once an opera singer attended one of his 1950s concerts and met him backstage. The singer told Elvis that he sang like a hillbilly and needed singing lessons. Elvis replied, Thanks for the advice. But how many of the thousands of people out there tonight came to hear you sing? He tried to get a print of Star Wars, Episode IV, A New Hope, 1977, to show his daughter, Lisa Marie Presley on Monday, August 15, 1977, his last full day of life. Won three Grammy Awards, all for his gospel music. Has sold 1.8 billion records worldwide, more than any other artist or music group. He did an early 60s concert in Hawaii and donated the proceeds to help build the USS Arizona Memorial. In 1973, he was the biggest taxpayer in the U.S. In 1973, he met with Led Zeppelin members Robert Plant and John Paul Jones in Los Angeles. An idol to the members of Led Zeppelin, Elvis wanted to meet who was outselling him at concerts. Zeppelin was in the midst of a record-breaking tour that year. A meeting was arranged with Plant and Jones. Plant was so awestruck at meeting his idol in person that he could barely speak to him. Jones, nearly as awestruck as Plant, made small talk with the king and mentioned what a beautiful watch Elvis wore. Elvis, always the generous one, instantly traded his $5,000 gold and diamond watch for Jones' $10 Mickey Mouse watch. This broke the ice with all of them, and they became fast friends. Throughout the early 1970s members of Led Zeppelin even attended a few of Elvis's concerts, and were granted the privilege of sitting in the front row by the king himself. According to a show on the a &E Biography channel, he once attended a concert for singer Connie Francis and had to leave for emotional reasons once he heard her sing the old Italian song Mama, as his mother, Gladys Presley had recently died. His mansion, Graceland, is the second most visited place in United States of America. The first is the White House. Elvis owned one of the world's first mobile phones. He had to have one after seeing Sean Connery use a car phone in the James Bond movie From Russia with Love, 1963. Elvis's phone was contained in a suitcase size carrying case with his name in black letters on a gold label on the front. He would use it to talk from his limousine. Suffered from chronic insomnia. One of only a handful of artists inducted into both the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Country Music Hall of Fame. Others include Johnny Cash and Hank Williams. Earned a black belt in karate in 1960. Disliked confrontation. On multiple occasions, he wanted to fire his manager, Tom Parker, by
by telling his friends, tell Parker, he's fired. His friends would go tell him, then Parker would reply, tell Elvis to tell me personally. Elvis never did. Is a direct descendant of Abraham Lincoln's great-great-grandfather, Isaiah Harrison. After seeing him in concert, Liberace suggested adding flashy costumes to his act. Elvis took the advice and became famous for his gold lame jackets and jeweled white jumpsuits. He later reserved a seat for Liberace at a majority of his concerts, as his way of saying thanks. In 1975, he purchased a poor black East Memphis woman an electric wheelchair and picked her up and personally sat her in it. The woman's teenage daughter told Elvis she liked his car. He gave it to her and even gave her boyfriend a job. Has more multi-platinum album sales than any other performer, with 12 albums selling over 2 million copies. Quotes Asked who he sounded like, I don't sound like nobody. Asked what kind of music he sings, I sing all kinds. I don't like being called Elvis the pelvis. That's gotta be one of the most childish expressions I've ever heard coming from an adult. Some people tap their feet, some people snap their fingers, and some people sway back and forth. I just sorta do em all together, I guess. His acceptance speech from the 1970 Outstanding Young Men of the Nation Awards. When I was a child, ladies and gentlemen, I was a dreamer. I read comic books, and I was the hero of the comic book. I saw movies, and I was the hero in the movie. So every dream I ever dreamed has come true a hundred times. I learned very early in life that, without a song, the day would never end, without a song, a man ain't got a friend, without a song, the road would never bend, without a song. So I keep singing a song. Good night. Thank you. There's been a big change in the music field in the last 10 or 12 years. I think everything has improved the sounds have improved, the musicians have improved, the engineers have definitely improved. I like a lot of the new groups, you know, the Beatles and the Birds and the whoever, but I really like a lot of the new music, but a lot of it is basically, our music is basically, rock and roll music is basically gospel or rhythm and blues. People have been adding to it, adding instruments to it, experimenting with it. I just fell into it, really. My daddy and I were laughing about it the other day. He looked at me and said, What happened, Al? The last thing I remember is I was working in a Ken factory and you were driving a truck. We all feel the same way about it, still, it just caught us up. On performing, it's like a surge of electricity going through you. It's almost like making love, but it's even stronger than that. Sometimes I think my heart is going to explode. My daddy had seen a lot of people who played guitars and stuff and didn't work, so he said, you should make up your mind either about being an electrician or playing a guitar, and I never saw a guitar player that was worth a damn. The image is one thing, and the human being is another, it's very hard to live up to an image. A live concert to me is exciting because of all the electricity that is generated in the crowd and on stage. It's my favorite part of the business, live concerts. I've never gotten over what they call stage fright. I go through it every show. I'm pretty concerned, I'm pretty much thinking about the show. I never get completely comfortable with it, and I don't let the people around me get comfortable with it, in that I remind them that it's a new crowd out there, it's a new audience and they haven't seen us before. So it's got to be like the first time we go on. At a 1972 press conference in Madison Square Garden, man, I was tame compared to what they do now, are you kidding? All that I ever did was just jiggle. I want to entertain people. That's my whole life. To my last breath. The police filmed a show one time in Florida, because of the PGA, YMCA, or somebody. They thought that I was. Something. They said, man, he's got to be crazy. So they, the police, came out and filmed the show. I couldn't move. I had to stand still. The only thing I could move was my little finger like that. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time, you know, for the whole show. Take care of the fans, and they will sure as hell take care of you. I don't know anything about music. In my line, you don't have to. I wiggle my shoulders, I shake my legs, I walk up and down the stage, I hop around on one foot. But I never bump and grind. 
why, that's vulgar. I'd never do anything vulgar before an audience. My mother would never allow it. Roy Orbison is the greatest singer in the world. In 1956, the colored folks been singing it and playing it just like I'm doing now, man, for more years than I know. They played it like that in their shanties and in their juke joints and nobody paid it no mind till I goosed it up. I got it from them. Down in Tupelo, Mississippi, I used to hear old Arthur Crudup bang his box the way I do now, and I said if I ever got to a place I could feel all old Arthur felt, I'd be a music man like nobody ever saw. I get tired of playing a guy who gets into a fight, then starts singing to the guy he's just beat up. I am not the king. Jesus Christ is the king. I'm just an entertainer. Since I was two years old, all I knew was gospel music. That music became such a part of my life it was as natural as dancing. A way to escape from my problems and my way of release. On Blue Hawaii, 1961, in the movie we did a song called The Hawaiian Wedding Song. And it was so real that it took me ten years before I realized I wasn't married to the chick. Truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. I sure lost my musical direction in Hollywood. My songs were the same conveyor belt mass production, just like most of my movies were. Just because you look good, don't mean you feel good. I knew by heart all the dialogue of James Dean's films, I could watch Rebel Without a Cause, 1955, a hundred times over. Only thing worse than watching a bad movie is being in one. Rhythm is something you either have or don't have, but when you have it, you have it all over. Ambition is a dream with a V8 engine. Salaries Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii, 1973, $450,000. Elvis, that's the way it is, 1970, $500,000, plus 60% of profits. The Trouble with Girls, 1969, $850,000, plus 50% of the profits. Charo, 1969, $850,000, plus 50% of profits. Live a Little, Love a Little, 1968, $850,000, plus 50% of the profits. Speedway, 1968, $850,000, plus 50% of the profits. Paradise, Hawaiian Style, 1966, $225,000, plus 50% of profits. Harem Scarum, 1965, $1 million. Tickle Me, 1965, $600,000, plus $150,000 in expenses, and 50% of the profits. Girl Happy, 1965, $500,000, plus 50% of profits. Diva Las Vegas, 1964, $500,000, plus 50% of profits. Fun in Acapulco, 1963, $500,000, plus 50% of profits. It happened at the World's Fair, 1963, $400,000 plus $75,000 for expenses, $25,000 musical expenses, and 50% of the profits after the first $500,000 recouped. It happened at the World's Fair, 1963, $500,000 plus 50% of profits. Kid Galahad, 1962, $1 million. Follow That Dream, 1962, $1 million. Blue Hawaii, 1961, $175,000. GI Blues, 1960, $175,000, plus percent of gross. Frank Sinatra's Welcome Home Party for Elvis Presley, 1960, $125,000. King Creole, 1958. $250,000, plus 50% of profits. Jailhouse Rock, 1957, $250,000. Loving You, 1957, $150,000. Love Me Tender, 1956, $100,000.